Archer uh, with sea -Doo Media Relations. We're here in Miami, Florida, and we're seeing how sea -Doo is taking riding to the next level with the new RXTX 300. Let's go put it out on the water and see what it really does. All new engine, it's called the Rotax 1630 Ace engine. 1630 cc's or 1.6 liters. Uh, the Ace stands for Advanced Combustion Efficiency. So, CU set a uh, mandate to come up with a 300 horsepower engine. And the easy way to create more power is to make a bigger or add another cylinder. We wanted to make sure that we kept the power to weight ratio really good. As part of the fun is being able to throw a watercraft around and being very nimble. So the Rotax engineers, Rotax is the, the engine brand that C uses, part of the Bureau of family, uh, looked at the, the previous model engine, the 1.5 liter engine, and looked at every element on how to make it more efficient, how to make more power. So the engine design, they based it off the previous engine as mentioned, they kept the same bore, but they increased the stroke. They also got rid of the steel uh, sleeve, cylinder sleeve, and went to an aluminum uh, cylinder that's plasma coated. So what that allows is the heat to dissipate faster and more efficiently, so there's less friction. So the engine's working uh, not as hard to, to push the pistons. supercharger itself has been redesigned and it creates 30% more boost pressure and combined with a large intercooler that cools the air to make a more dense charge it's cooling the air by 120%. So this new engine created a lot of power incredible acceleration 0 to 60 in just over four seconds, so it's an incredibly powerful machine. But power is useless unless you can actually use it. So the design team worked on uh, how the rider connects to the machine, and they worked very hard to, to make the rider feel uh, that they're part of the machine, not just on the machine. So the seat is very, very narrow where you can, your, your legs are at a very comfortable position to squeeze the seat where most uh, other watercraft have a very wide seat. So it's hard to actually hold on to the machine with your legs, which are the strongest muscles of your body. So the way that your legs mold into the seat, your body's touching it more. The footwell angle, angle is uh, in line with your your lower leg structure and the way that your body holds on so the rider feels more comfortable and more confident and then that way they can stay on the power earlier into a turn and later out of a turn and also especially like a day today in Miami the water is rarely ever flat so now you can really lock into that machine and if you want to go fast through the chop you just squeeze on squeeze the throttle and go so the other part of the, the ergonomics that, that really make a big difference is obviously the handlebars. So you've got uh, these new grips that they're called uh, the palm rest grips. So it just creates more surface area for your hand. And then the controls themselves, you've got your throttle lever here, but then you've also got your, your intelligent brake and reverse lever on your other handlebar. So it's just like a bicycle brake. Very, very simple to use forward stop forward stop it's really really simple and it helps docking or pulling up to the beach and it just ultimately it, it gives the rider more control and when you have more control you have more fun so those are 
the two main elements that are new for 2016 on the RXTX. And this is our hero model for the year, but we've also included that power and some of those ergonomics in our luxury model, our GTX Limited. But the RXTX, it's really, it's like the, uh, you know, we're here in Miami, Don Johnson running a, across the bay trying to catch the bad guys. This would catch them. Uh -huh.